Hey guys, welcome to a... <coughs> <coughs> hey guys, happy Paranormal Monday. Oh my goodness, I'm so sick. I really hope I can even get through this video. <sighs> so I had the privilege of going to stay the night at the Bullock Hotel in Deadwood, South Dakota. Obviously Deadwood is very famous. The Bullock Hotel is reportedly very famously haunted. Charlie! <laughs> and I have been wanting to stay there for so long and it finally, finally happened. Um, so I just, I wanted to show you guys uh, the stuff we found, talk a little bit about it, and yeah, it was, it was a different experience. It was definitely not as disappointing as the Alex Johnson was last year, but it was still, at times it was still a little bit of a letdown. Um, we didn't capture any EVPs, at least none that I can confirm. Um, I need better editing software, that's all I can say. Because um, at one point uh, during the night, I was doing an EVP session just by myself in the hotel or in our hotel room and in our um, bathroom. And I asked, "Is Seth Bullock here?" And on my camera, not my digital recorder, but on my camera, like two seconds after I asked this question, it sounds it sounds like a very faint male voice says yes. Seth Bullock, are you in here? But it's so faint and I don't have the software to like uh, enhance the audio to make sure but to me that's what it sounds like and it's the only noise like that that is captured throughout the entire time I'm filming. So that just, it makes me think that that's what it was. <laughs> so not a whole lot happened while we were sleeping. I slept really good. Um, nothing in the room felt very off. We were next door to, uh, we were in 213. We were right next to, like right across the hall um, to 211, which is where they say they have a lot of stuff happen. Um, but as far as I, our room, it didn't seem like anything really happened. We went and walked around um, before bedtime. We did go on a ghost tour, and that was a lot of fun. Um, the we got I got some video of that. Our tour guide was great. She showed us some pictures from other tours of some ghosts that were captured on film. It was amazing. Like some of the pictures. It was, they were kind of crazy. But what was really weird is while we were walking around, we went up, we went on the first, second, and third floor, and we walked around. And this weird thing happened when we passed room 307, and I just kind of got this feeling, and like I looked at the um, number plate on the door. I just got this feeling like I wanted to be in that room. I can't really explain why. It was weird because then today, this is a few days later, I went back and I watched the Ghost Adventures episodes where they go to Deadwood and they go to the Bullock Hotel. And it had been a couple of years since I'd seen this episode and I didn't remember this. But some really weird, creepy stuff happens in room 307 on the episode. And it's a very active room apparently, but I completely forgot that. But when we walked past the room, I had this feeling like I wanted to be in that room and I didn't know why. I thought it was just because the 307 rang a bell because I lived in uh, Wyoming and the area code was 307 so I thought that was just like a thing in my brain but I don't know. I got a weird feeling and I had forgotten how active, like it wasn't even in my brain that 307 was an active room. I also forgot that I totally downloaded a ghost box like a spirit box app on my phone. Completely forgot to use that. I'm so disappointed in myself. <sighs> so yeah, I forgot to use the ghost app. We didn't get any EVPs, but I got a couple pictures. And I mean, on the videos of the ghost tour, you see like there's obviously dust, but there is also definitely some orbs. Um, when you're capturing 
orbs on film and there's dust, it can be kind of confusing. A lot of people can criticize that you actually caught orbs. But if you've studied orbs and filmed that kind of stuff as much as I have, um, dust like you'll see in the shots, um, dust will go straight up and straight down like really fast in front of the camera and obviously you see that. Whereas orbs will have a more purposeful path and they'll usually go side to side in front of the camera. Unlike dust that just goes straight up and down. Um, so obviously, yeah, there was quite some dust, but there's also quite a few orbs I caught on camera. And I, what I find funny is that um, in the one video, there's tons of orbs shooting across. But in the next video I took, like a minute later, there was none. Um, and it, if it had been dust, like you still see some dust in there, it should have been a continual thing for the orbs too but they weren't in the second video. So I did take some pictures. I took hundreds of pictures and I caught what I believe are two spirits. Um, so in the first one we were down in the basement and as you can see I take I took tons of sequence pictures and I took tons of pictures of this mirror. And in between all of these pictures with nothing in the mirror I caught this picture. Now, from far away, it does look like there's something in the mirror, and when you zoom in, to me, to my parents, to my skeptic husband, like, you can see what looks like a girl. You can clearly see a torso, a chin, two eyes, a nose, what looks like um, black bangs across the forehead right above the eyes, and if you look, the black hair kind of goes back, and it almost looks like a ponytail or a ponytail holder above it and yeah it's this crazy greenish color which is not reflected in the mirror any other time in any of the other pictures so that tells me it wasn't just something reflected in the mirror in the background that I'm mistaking for a spirit. <clears throat> so the second one I took was right at the end of the tour when we were back in the restaurant portion. There's a giant mirror behind the bar and our tour guide is just giving us kind of like last minute stories and stuff about the hotel. And so I'm snapping pictures and I snap pictures of everything straight across from the bar and there's this young couple, there's an older lady with like shoulder length white hair um, and then I take a couple pictures of the bar. Now in these pictures you can see our tour guide is standing there um, but in this first picture you could see a man with white hair standing right behind her and in the next picture he's gone and there was no older gentleman on our tour it was all um, younger people my parents and the one older lady um, there might have been two older ladies but yeah you can clearly see this man standing like the back of his head standing behind our tour guide and in the next picture there's no one there so I found this very odd because I've captured orbs, but as far as like full apparitions, stuff like that, I have only ever caught stuff in reflections, um, mirrors. The biggest picture I've ever caught was in the second floor window of my grandparents' house, and I've shared that with you guys before, um, of a man's face like wearing a bald cap, ball cap. <laughs> Uh, staring at us in the window and so yeah I just find it weird because apparently that's my thing I can only capture spirits in like reflective surfaces or something I don't know it's weird so yeah I had so much fun at the Bullock Hotel I would love to go back and request like room 307 I really want to do that it's so bad and yeah it, it was it was fun I enjoyed it. I definitely want to stay there again um, and just be more in-depth about my recordings and stuff like that. I really I want a night vision camera so bad. That would help things so much because when I was going through my footage of like my EVP session in the dark bathroom, like I thought I saw something here or there, but like I can't tell because it's such 
it's so dark and without night vision it's so hard to tell if there's actually anything there. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this Paranormal Monday. I would definitely recommend checking out Deadwood someday. I mean, if you like gambling, there's that. I mean, I am a roulette junkie. Um, but <laughs> I would definitely check it out for the history, for the ghosts, for the gambling, whatever is your flavor. Because, I mean, luckily I live really close. I live like an hour away from Deadwood. So that's really nice. But yeah, so... <sighs> Yeah, I had such a blast. It was definitely, when we were down in the basement at the very beginning of the tour before we started taking pictures, we were watching a segment from like the 90s from Unsolved Mysteries about the Bullock Hotel and all that. And <clears throat> I thought, like I just, all of a sudden I felt like my right leg was like ice cold and kind of tingling. But I was trying not to like overreact and just assume it was something supernatural. But I still have no real explanation for what it could have been. Because it didn't, it only lasted like a minute or so and then it just disappeared. So I don't know. I definitely enjoyed myself. I definitely think it's haunted. Um, so yeah, yeah. It was, it was definitely fun. Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed this Paranormal Monday. I love you so much and I will see you later.